Hi guys, so we are still on the topic of exceptions in C++ and in this video, once again, we are going to be handling uh, exceptions with try catch blocks. So um, I'm not going to take too much time uh, reading the instructions, but uh, let's uh, drop down this piece of code here that is logged. And we have a method called largest proper divisor. And it takes an n, an int uh, parameter called n. And depending on uh, what is the value of n, then we can throw some errors. So here, if n equals zero, then we are throwing an invalid arguments error. If it's one, we also throw in another error, but the messages are different, right? Notice here it says n zero, and here it says n equals one. Um, and then we call that method in another method or a different function, a void function uh, called process inputs. We take an n parameter and we try and get the results by calling a largest proper divisor. We pass n to that method and we store that in D. And then of course we output uh, the value of D here. Now the issue that we have is that when we call that method and pass it the n um, parameter as an argument, uh, we risk getting some running into errors, right? Because uh, like I said, it depends on the value of n, right? Uh, if n is zero, we get an error. If it's one, the same thing. So what it wants us to do here is extend the um, implementation of that function here. We need to extend it to handle these errors. So if nothing goes wrong, then uh, we need to print in a single line result equals d where d is a return value. So that is what we have here. But it says, otherwise, we need to print the error, uh, the string representation of the raised exception that is the error. We need to print it out if we run into any error when we call that method. And finally, uh, whether there was an exception or not, then we need to print this line, returning control flow to color. So the first thing that we have to do uh, whenever we are dealing with uh, functions or methods that might uh, cause errors and throw exceptions, uh, we need to wrap this in a try block. So I'm going to have a closing curly brackets here. I'm going to add indentation just for readability. And uh, now we need catch, right? So I need catch here, but catch we need to uh, specify the type of the error that we are catching. So here we know that it's invalid arguments. That's the um, the type of the error. I don't need to add std when I'm typing it because we already have using namespace std at the top. So I can simply scroll down here and say invalid arguments. I'm going to call that e. And I believe I need to print in a single line the string representation of the exception. So I'm going to say C out. And then here I'm going to call dot what, and that is going to return us the string representation of the error, which is what is being passed here. Uh, you've seen me use that in my previous videos about exceptions in C++. So then I'm going to call end line. Uh, what else do we need to do? I think, uh, when it's done, whether there was an error or not, we need to return that string, returning control flow to color. So I believe in other methods, uh, sorry, in other languages, you can uh, use a keyword called finally, I think, but in C++ it's a bit different. So if you want to, you want to run something, uh, regardless of what happens here, uh, you can just, um, you know, do it outside the try catch uh, blocks. So I'm going to have this as a string then end line. Okay, so uh, if you run into an error here, the program is not gonna crash. It's gonna be handled by the catch block here. And the catch block is going to print the error message on the screen. So when it's done doing that, it will jump here on this line. Oops, and I made a mistake here. Yeah. Jump here on this line and print that on the screen. And I think we are done, right? I might have omitted something, but Let's run these codes to make sure that uh, everything is correct. I just passed uh, sample test case zero and sample test case one. 
let's submit this code and make sure that we pass all the test cases, which of course we did. Um, so that's, that's pretty much it. You can see how easy it is to write your own program, uh, raise your own exceptions by using these through statements, passing your messages, and then in your program, you just wrap whatever code is prone or susceptible to, you know, just uh, make the program run into any error that would cause it to crash or something. And uh, you can just wrap that in a try catch uh, block, you know, and you just handle it and you call that's what that method on the error objects. And that's pretty much it. If you want to run something, uh, regardless of, you know, if an exception is raised or not, just um, write that code outside your try catch blocks. And that's pretty much it for this video. So if you learned something or you like this video, please make sure you subscribe, drop your comments, give this a like, uh, turn on your notifications by clicking on the bell icon, and uh, I'll catch you next time. Bye.